Welcome to Olympian Water Testing, giving you the best in water analysis. Today we're looking at EFSA, the health risks of ammonium released from water filters. So what's going on here? We can see the European Commission, EC, asked the European Food Safety, EFSA, for scientific assistance regarding the possible impact on human health of exposure to ammonium released from water filter cartridges. And the EFSA was asked whether a level of ammonium between 0.5 milligrams per liter and 5 milligrams per liter in water possess a risk to human health when water is consumed over a long period of time and in particular by certain vulnerable groups of the population. Ammonia is naturally occurring compound and an important source of nitrogen for mammals. In large amounts, 3 to 4 grams per day or 43 to 57 milligrams kilograms body weight per day for 70 kilograms of ammonium are produced in the gut and excess ammonium is metabolized in the liver and excreted in the urine. So there is actually some ammonium that does occur within the human body itself. So it's not all particularly bad, but in large amounts it can be harmful, especially if you're getting an excess in your water or there's a problem with the water filter. For adults, the estimated exposure to ammonium in water within the specified concentration range, 0.5 to 5 milligrams per liter, would range from 0 0.014 milligrams kilograms per day to 0.14 milligrams kilograms by way per day, and the estimated exposure would be slightly higher for infants and children. Considering the large amount of androgynous produced ammonium compared to the exposure from water, it is concluded that additional exposure to ammonium from the water at the specified range is negligible and does not pose a risk to human health, even for vulnerable groups. So this is some interesting data right here, the health risk of ammonium released from water filters, and it's up to you to kind of come up and figure out what you think the issue is. Now, the conclusion is that additional exposure from ammonium water at specific range is negligible and doesn't provide a risk to humans, even for vulnerable groups, which is good. That being said, though, there can still be issues with the water filter. There can still be a lot of ammonium in the water, and that can still cause problems, not just in Europe, but in cities in America as well. Since it's a naturally occurring compound, and it does act as a source of nitrogen for mammals, there can be some problems as well. Even though it's formed in the gut, it's still something to take a look at. Especially if your water is high in ammonium, it can cause some problems. That's why it's always a good idea to periodically test your water for high levels of ammonium.